Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a good day. This is Ben Jammer from Jammer Studios and I'm back at it again with another video. And today we're talking about single tiles and coins. So if you like today's video, please give it a like down below. If you like the content that I'm coming out with, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about what I do or uh, what kind of content I'm putting out, or if you just want to see uh, some content, or you have questions on what I'm doing here, please leave that comment down below. And without further ado, let's just hop right in. So as you can see, we have a problem where we can't really see where we're walking. As you can see, my character is on one of the one-way collisions we made, but you can't really tell that it's a platform. And so today, that's what we're basically going to do, is we're going to uh, put in single tiles, actually, instead of an auto tile. Auto tiles are pretty nice, but for this case, we're just going to go with single tiles. So let's go back to our tiles solid. I'm not going to have you guys watch me uh, do this entire process, but I'll show you still like uh, the gimmies and what to do. So <clears throat> as I as I did just did, you're going to click on your tile map. You're going to click on the tile map and then go over to the right and click the tile set. And it's going to bring up uh, this panel right here. What you're going to do is you're just going to in to uh, drag whatever single tiles you want. And so far right here, I have uh, a couple that I've made and all they are is just uh, what my uh, floor tile is, my floor tile map that we've made before. And this one is just uh, more, uh, just like the, the single tiles that we have. And basically what a single tile is, is just one tile. That, that, that's it. There's no, there's nothing special. It's just one tile. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our uh, long pillar here. We're going to uh, select new tile. Let's zoom in here. And we're going to do the region. So we're going to select that. Now, before we continue, we want to make sure that, yes, it is a little blurry. So we want to select each of these images and just hit filter and re-import. Make sure you hit re-import very important that you do and you can already start to tell that the images are looking swell and this is our tiles solid so we're going to get our collision hit the square boom and that's that's all you gotta do <clears throat> it's pretty simple pretty easy and you can see that uh, the space the gap that I've uh, created with uh, my tiles is a little more exaggerated than uh, the ones from the previous one because it was a little hard to tell uh, it was a little hard to tell uh, if there was like a space or not so I've just created that so uh, people can see it more easily now finishing up here and there we go now we have all of our single tiles made. We can just select, you can see all of our single tiles that we have here on the right. All we're going to do is we're going to just delete uh, that pillar right there. We're going to take the pillar, we're going to select it, and we're going to put it right there, right where the uh, other pillar used to be. Now we're going to take the long pillar that we made and just put it right underneath. And now you can see that we have a long pillar. And now it goes to the ground and we don't need the computer telling us like, hey, this is what we want and have it messed up in some other way. This, this has us in control of it the entire time. It will take longer to do, but it will start to have like less headaches in the future. And now we're just going to basically copy and paste what we have here but as single tiles. So give me this. We're going, oh wait, no, we need this one. Yeah, we're gonna need the side one. There and there. All right, now, the greatest thing about side tiles is these things can uh, rotate and flip. All you gotta do is you go up to the top, right above the 
images and you see the turns you can rotate them so let's see so this is the side one All right, let's get the other one this is a pillar one you can see this is the pillar one so we're rotate it left and now it's to its side we're gonna rotate it back and now it's normal you can actually flip them uh, vertically which you can't really tell on this one and let's change it back and then you can oh I'm sorry I flipped it horizontally which means you couldn't see it but now if you flip it vertically you can tell that this one is changed and let's say I went ahead and messed this up so bad all you gotta do is you press this paintbrush uh, looking thing and it goes right back to normal so now what we're going to do for this one is I have only one side pillar. All we got to do is we're just going to flip it horizontally and it shows us it the other way. Pretty, uh, pretty cool, huh? And now we're just going to flip it back horizontally, boom, and fill in the rest here. That's uh, now we're going to go in the game. And you can see now. Um, now, don't know why our character isn't moving. Uh, that's weird. That's weird, but it's fine. It's all right. I can figure it out later. It has nothing to do with, um, the, the auto tiles, we, the single tiles we just put in now. I know that for a fact. Uh, now I'm going to pause the video here. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did with the tiles one way. And we're not going to put in a collision for that one because that's the one we want to just pass through. So I'll, uh, I'll be back later. All right, welcome back. Sorry for all the confusion. I uh, just figured it out. And it was just uh, some bit of code that I had. Uh, it, was, it was weird. But <clears throat> there we go. I uh, finished it off uh, while uh, it was paused. And so what happened, and it's very important as well, of um, the mistake I had to, to fix too. So uh, this isn't going to be our only player. This isn't going to be our only body that's moving around. We're going to also have an enemy. And so what if uh, the enemy uh, decides to fall off the cliff? Or we have uh, a barrel just fly off the, the cliff too and falls into this fall zone down here. Well, that's also going to reset the scene, and we don't want that. And so for what our, how our script is set up is we have this signal signaling to the player to do something. And right down here on the on fall zone body entered, that's where we have it set up to change the scene. And so uh, what we need to do is we need to basically just write this line of code right here, the if body dot get name equals player then change the scene and once you do that it will then change the scene back and now you can see that my player is also moving around and that's what the issue was is very weird I don't understand it but it doesn't matter and you can see that I've also decorated the place a little bit it looks a little better a little nicer than it was before now I'm not going to finish it today, but <clears throat> I'm going to show you basically uh, how to make a coin and also have it disappear. So what we're going to do is we're going to press, uh, we're going to get a new scene out here. We're going to go to other node. It's going to be a static body 2D. Static body 2D. This is going to be a coin. And with this, we're going to go with sprite and that sprite is going to go with uh, is going to be my coin that I have down here make sure you re-import it oh yeah we're good put it into texture that's our sprite all right now we got to fix that triangle which wants and which it wants to have a collision shape 2d we're going to make it the capsule where's the capsule where there it is there's the capsule Oh, that's right. We don't want that. We want the pixels. Yep, we got the pixels. And there we go. So that is a coin. We'll save that. We're going to go over to level one. 
and we're going to import the scene. So you want to make sure you uh, hit the chain icon and then select your coin. Now our coin should be right there. We're going to put it right up top. Put our player close to it. Now, what we're going to want to do is when our player uh, collides with it, when our player goes into it, uh, we want to. Oh, hold on. This should actually. This should not be a stack by. I just thought it should actually be uh, an area 2D. Yep. So uh, you just right click coin and you go to change type and it will change the type of it. We actually want it to be an area 2D because we would just collide with it. We actually want to pass through it. So now that we have that set up, we're going to want to get a script for the coin, the coin script, and we're going to make sure that we select coin, uh, the area 2D that we have, and go to node, and if a body entered, connect it back up to it, if a body entered, we want to type that uh, line we had in earlier, so if body.get name equals player we're going to queue free and so if the body that enters it is uh, named player then we're going to just delete it delete itself and that's exactly what uh, this whole function right here is saying so when the body enters it it's just gonna delete it we're, we will do some more things in the future with it but as of right now, this is fine. This is okay. You can see our coin is just right there. As soon as we enter it, it disappears. As soon as we enter it, boom, gone. And if, if we then fall down, it will then reappear because we are changing the scene back to what it originally was. So we collect it, and we just die. We collect it, and we die. We collect it, and we die. Boom. So thank you for thank you guys for sticking around to the end of this video. This has been uh, Ben Jamin from Jamin Studios.